What's up, YouTube? This is OG Weasel, Urban Conversion. I'm back again. Little short story, man, for y'all. Uh, I did 20 years on a 30-year federal prison sentence. I got released under Obama clemency program, and I was one of the recipients to get that receive that blessing. And I'm here right now. I'm telling y'all my story and my, about my journey of doing 20 years in federal prison. Follow me, y'all. Y'all know if y'all are sports fans. Now this this is for this real talk. This universal. This is a universal fight that I'm about to talk about, man. I'm talking about I've been to nine federal prisons, and I'm talking about every year. It's the same tension. You know what I'm saying? Fights, stabbings, behind gambling, all of that come with this one particular time every year that they are in the fucking playoffs. Dallas Cowboys in the federal prison system, y'all. Now I was in federal I was in Beaumont and that's Texas. Beaumont, Texas. I was in Beaumont, Texas. Now I'm I'm there with Houston and Dallas guys. You know, and Throughout the other jails, yeah, it'd probably be a couple Dallas dudes or here and there, you know what I'm saying? But not like in Beaumont. But Dallas Cowboys are an American team for some reason or another because you got the Mexicans, you got the Colombians, you got the Puerto Ricans, you got every nationality in the world loving on Dallas Cowboys. I'm a avid I'm a uh I'm a uh I'm a uh avid gambler. So I don't pick no teams. I'm from St. Louis, Missouri, and when the Rams was winning and when every time I put them on my ticket, they would blow me up. If I picked against them, they would win. If I picked them to win, they would lose. So I never had no team that Ooh, when they play, I'm just going with. No, nah, uh-uh. I'm looking at the players, the stats, who's starting, all of that. You know what I'm saying? See if they beefing with the coach or something, you know? So all of that come into factor because you pick them and put them on your team and come to find out uh, him and the coach beefing and he, they got to sit on the bench. So now you got to scratch your ticket down and take that game off and all of that. But back to Dallas, man. These dudes are so serious in federal prison, man, about Dallas Cowboys, man, and they losing. And I'm looking at social media, man. This Dallas Cowboy got the most memes in the world about. And it's, and it's rough on Dallas, man, right now. I don't know what to say, man. Glad I ain't had y'all on my ticket. But I did pick a couple players to do some rushing yards and all of that. But I ain't even get to put that bet in. So thank God, you know, because they probably didn't even run the rushing yards or nothing. But either, what I'm saying is, man, these dudes so serious about Dallas, man, in federal prison, man. They threaten the whole unit, man. Put a knife on them, everything. Them dudes will put a knife on them about Dallas, man. And call people out in the unit like whoever want to fight. Because they ain't probably lost so much fucking money that they about to commit suicide. Man, I be like, damn. Shit, serious, man. And it's always about the Dallas Cowboys. The American team. The Puerto Ricans, Mexicans. Every nationality in the world, man. Everybody, they making... Dallas, everything, every everywhere you go, no, don't matter what nationality. You can go to an Arab room, or uh, 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 Arab, he he got some type of Dallas symbol or something in his cell, or something. You know, got a bookmarker in his Bible with a Dallas. Man, it's always something. But Dallas Cowboys is America's team, man. And hey, I don't know what to say. I ain't mentioning. <laughs> But I'm just telling y'all how they act in federal prison, man. Dudes literally <coughs> will tear down the TV, man, 
if they could. They'd turn down the TV. And I'm watching these memes on social media, and they turn down, busting their TVs. And I'm like, that's how they act in prison. I said, man, I'm going to do it. I'm going to tell their ass for real. That's how these motherfuckers act in prison, man. These motherfuckers are snatch the cord out. Dudes are have to, hey, man, what the fuck you doing? Act like they want to snatch the TV down. Motherfuckers out. Hey, man, stop that shit. Man, don't do that. Man, they don't give a damn. When Dallas Cowboys playing, man, it'd it be something else, man. Dallas Cowboys, them different breed of uh, fans, man. You know what I'm saying? I don't know what it is, but this OG Weasel Urban Conversion, man, and I'm telling you, and I'm just coming on here to tell y'all how the Dallas fans is in jail. Man, it get tense. That shit get tense as hell in prison, man. And it don't matter what nationality it come from behind the Dallas shit. Man, God damn. Boy, Dallas playing in the playoffs, man, you would think it was a damn. Man, these dudes, they cook so much food. They cook. They steal out the kitchen. Man, they been preparing all week, month, two months. Two, three months, the whole season, they've been... Pr if these people knowing they getting to the playoffs, man, they turning it up even more. Oh, man, they going all out, all behind Dallas. Dallas Cowboys. I'm like, man, these dudes serious, man. They all to all the, the, the uniforms, everything. You know what I'm saying? Making bed sheets, Dallas sheets. Man, they do, man, serious about Dallas, man. This OG Weasel Urban Conversion, man. <clears throat> and I done seen some tense moments, man, when Dallas Cowboys playing um, football. Everybody serious as a motherfucker that's watching Dallas. They got their shit on. Man, these dudes be tripping, man. We'll fight you behind that shit. And it's always seen like it's Dallas Cowboy fans. For real, man. Fuck y'all. Fuck y'all. I don't give a fuck. Nigga, I'm, man, they go in. This OG Weasel Urban Conversion, man, just telling y'all how the Dallas fans act, man, in federal prison. They be tripping. Straight up.